Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to this new series called Masters of Unity. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to download an image from a website and keep it on our device so then we can use it again without having to download it. This is very useful for games where you have you want to update your game but you don't want your users to download the whole game again but just to update some graphics or audio or text. So this is very very simple. I'm just going to create a quad so we can see our image that we're going to download and I'm going to assign a new script called image downloader so we're going to leave the update and the first thing we want to do is make a enumerator for our start function and then in our start function we want to make a web request and I'm going to call it www and I'm going to set it equal to a new www and we're going to give it a URL and this URL is our pictures URL so I'll just go to Google and find any picture and I'm going to copy the image URL and if you open that it should be something like this only the image and by the way this is my game if you want to play it it's very fun it's good fun for all the family and it's good for your brain too so definitely go check it out but anyway I copy that URL and I'm going to paste it right here so what is this is going to do is go to this address and put that information inside this variable here and after that we want to yield yield remember is for waiting for something and what we want to wait for is the www once the www is done downloading we're going to move on to the next step which is take the texture from www so I'm going to create a new variable called sorry about that called texture 2d I mean sorry uh, I'm just going to call it texture and it's of type texture 2d and I'm going to set it equal to www.texture this is very simple we're just going to take the texture from this and assign it to this variable after that we want to get component and we, we are going to get the renderer from this game object so you can type this dot get component so it's easier for us to read and I'm going to get the material dot main texture and I'm going to set it equals to texture so let's save that and, and try it and we can see there is the picture I downloaded so I use as you saw I didn't have this picture anywhere so now we accomplished the first step that is downloading the image from internet and putting it into our game but now we want to keep it inside our game don't worry guys this is not hard either I learned this few days ago and it was quite simple first of all we need to use system.io and this is input output and what we want to do is take this texture make it array of bytes and then encode it into our persistent data path and then we're going to get that array of bytes and make it back into a texture so I included the system.io so now we can use a class called file and here we have something called write all bytes so you can see the parameters is a string and an array of bytes and let me increase the size so you can see clearly I'm sorry about that so before we write those bytes we want to create an array of bytes so I'm going to make byte and this is very simple just like making an array of anything else and here I'm going to take the texture and there is a function that is encode 
to JPEG. In this case, I'm using a JPEG, so I'm just going to encode to JPEG. If you want to use a PNG, just select the below option. So this is going to return an array of bytes that we're going to call bytes. So we have array of bytes, bytes, equals texture dot encode to JPEG. And you can call this whatever you want. And next, we're going to use the file dot write all bytes. And we want to, first of all, give it a path. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to just access the application dot persistent data path. And I'm going to concatenate test texture dot jpg. And I think it's necessary to include the extension, but you can try doing it without it. And then we're just going to include the bytes array that we just created here. This one, just copy it and paste it here. So now this should let us have the texture saved into our device. So for example, I'm going to assume we're making an Android game. This is going to save this into our phone memory. So we don't need to download it on the next time we want it. So we can check if this file exists. If it doesn't exist, we're going to download it. And if it does exist, we're just going to load it from here. So we're going to separate this into an if and else statement. So first of all, if and we're going to use the file class again, file.exists. And here we're just going to use the same path that we used to write the data in. So if this file here does exist, we're going to do A. Else, we're going to do B. So B would be download, this image here and write it into this path and if it already exists we're going to load it how do we load it well we also have to use the file class but this time we're going to use read all bytes before we write all bytes now we're going to read them and we just need to copy the path that we want to read the file from and this returns an array of bytes. So we're going to create a byte array called, I'm going to call this byte array, just to make it different from this one. And I'm going to finally make the texture from this byte array. So I'm going to create a new texture 2D just going to call it texture again and this is equals to a new texture 2d and the parameters are the size and it doesn't matter which size we write here because it's going to be replaced by what we're going to do next so next is called texture dot load image and as you saw the parameter is an array of bytes. So we're just going to place byte array inside here. So now texture became this byte array, uh, this byte array, which is the picture we already saved into our phone. And finally, we're going to get the component render up and change the main texture just like we did it down here. It's the same. So now we can try this. Oh, and before we continue I just want to print so we can see when it's downloading and when it's loading from the phone or in this case the computer I'm going to print here downloading from the webs delete that and here we're going to print something different loading from the device and if I click play downloading from the web and we got our image now if we play it again loading from the device 
So now we didn't have to go internet to get it again, and we don't have to waste our users' internet data, right? So thank you very much, guys. I hope you understand. If you didn't, if you have some questions, just let me know in the comments. I will make sure to make you understand because I really want you guys to learn. I really enjoy making these videos, and let me know your comments on this new series called Unity Masters and where we're going to master every bit of Unity and we're going to be able to make great games. Remember to subscribe and give a like to this video, share it with your friends, share it at school, share it at your work. I don't care, I just want those shares because it really means a lot for me. Thank you guys and I will see you on the next episode. Good.